Hi guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to talk about the FDA findings on grain-free diets in dogs. So why did the FDA investigate the grain-free diets linked to heart disease in the first place? So in July of 2018, veterinarians started reporting that dog breeds that weren't on the genetic list for getting dilated cardiomyopathy were starting to develop dilated cardiomyopathy or DCM. So this led to the FDA looking at what diets those dogs were eating, as well as veterinary nutritionists. And these dogs were all being fed a grain-free diet. So what the FDA found in its most recent study in June of 2019 is that grain-free diets had a high amount of legumes, such as peas and lentils, as well as potatoes. And they're linking this to dilated cardiomyopathy. For those of you watching this video who are probably feeding your dog a grain-free diet, before you go run off and change your dog's diet, let me reassure you that the population size for this study from 2014 to now was 560 dogs. That's a very small amount of dogs compared to the 77 million dogs living in America. That's 0.0000727% of the dogs living in America. And we don't know if these dogs are eating a grain-free diet or not, but I just wanna reassure you that your dog food is okay right now and that the FDA is out there still investigating everything. So what is inconclusive is that these low meat, grain-free diets are linked to a taurine deficiency because the dogs that have dilated cardiomyopathy that are not genetically predisposed to it are getting better with taurine supplementation. What's fueling this FDA study is that veterinarians are reporting breeds that are not genetically predisposed to dilated cardiomyopathy that are also on a grain-free diet. These breeds include miniature schnauzers, Maltese's, and Frenchies. Breeds that are predisposed to dilated cardiomyopathy are Dobermans, Rottweilers, and large breed dogs. Thank you guys for watching this video on the FDA study about the grain-free diet and its link to heart disease in dogs. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd like to know what you guys think about this study. I will put the link in my description below so you guys can read that FDA study that's out there right now. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications to when I post videos every Thursday at five o'clock. 